Hi there, as usual it's me, just a voiceover, you're watching review machines, and today we have for you the newest sled of the season. The most interesting feature of this sled, probably, that its price for the new model is only about $5,000. Besides, we can see the strangest and outstanding design of the vehicle. Do you like it or not, guys? Please let me know in the comments. Anyway, it catches our eyes, doesn't it? As a matter of fact, this snowmobile is called Charmax SHP 680, and today we will find out if it's interesting by any other features besides the price and design. Well, get comfortable, my friends, we are to start right now, let's go! From the very first sight, it's clear that they tried to make this sled outstanding and eye-stopping. Looking at the front end, it resembles me a dolphin. It looks both a bit aggressive and bright. It shows its muscles, letting us know it's a real powerful beast. Is it really so? We'll find out a bit later. A cool feature is this running light at the front. And one more peculiar solution. The headlamp is covered with a tinted windshield, so it looks even more dope. Now let's probe deeper into the technical details of the new sled. The length of the vehicle is 290 cm, the width is 110, the weight is 230 kilos. There is an independent two-lever suspension at the front. It looks rather comfortable from the very first sight. The rear suspension has a peculiar construction. It feels a bit harder, but has a good travel. The length of the track is 3,333 mm. Its width is 500 mm, the grouser is 25 mm, the bottom is flat, that is good. As to the engine, well, frankly speaking, I think it's an obvious weak point of the whole vehicle. The design is powerful, but the engine has only 23 HP power, 500 cc, it works together with CVT transmission and has both manual and electric stutter. There are some holes in the plastic to get the access to the engine. The seat is for two people. It's soft and comfortable. Under the seat there is a battery and a glow box. Footsteps are white and well studded. As to the dashboard, it's so simple that I would say even ridiculous. There is even no any speedometer, but we have heaters of the handles and the throttle. The brake is hydraulic. The plastic seems to be qualitative, it can resist a severe frost. And the build quality looks decent from the very first glance. We didn't find any moments to pick on. Besides, the manufacturer states that the sled has a perfect weight distribution. That is good for riding. And well, I think it's a high time to check it. Despite a bit aggressive exterior, this snowmobile, according to the manufacturer, is considered as a utility sled. And taking into account the engine, not very powerful, but torquey. This sled mostly is not for fun, but for work. That is why we shouldn't expect from it any insane performance. Frankly speaking, I thought it would be dull. For all that, in fact, this sled slightly surprised me. It feels rather swift, it speeds up quite rapidly, despite the power of the engine. Probably it's because of the good settings of the CVT, but I can't say it's completely dull. Besides, the weight of the snowmobile is only 230 kilos, so it's comparatively light machine that is good for its performance. And now we are going to make some tests, but before that I want to show you something else. Meet our rider, who will help us today to film this video. As we can see, he came on another peculiar vehicle from the same manufacturer, Charmax. It's a new Tauwin motor sled, which is called Charmax HP20 Endura. 
Today we are going to use it as a transport for our cameraman, but I think it will be interesting to make a brief review of it. In fact, it's a motor sled with a classic design. The frame of this vehicle is designed to be compatible with different types of suspension of the track for different conditions of use. The width of the track is 500 mm. The engine is Starmax 20 HP. The weight of the sled is 115 kilos. And if you don't mind, let me have a short ride on this thing. Well, it's not a snowmobile actually, and this kind of transport is definitely not for lazy persons. You should stand when riding. Besides, it takes some efforts to handle it. But there are some advantages of these sleds. They are cheap and compact, it can fit in a regular crossover and don't require a driver license. We will speak about the prices a bit later, and now let's come back to the snowmobile. Now let's check the maximum speed of the snowmobile. As usually, I remind you of the fact that sled is new and after some time of use it will be faster than now. On the other hand, today we have ideal conditions. The snow is thin and hot. That is good for speed. For all that, I was slightly surprised by the result. Despite the weak engine, it could accelerate up to 57 km per hour. Not so bad for a cheap utility sled, isn't it? The weight distribution also does a lot of good for handling of the sled. It feels comfortable even for a new buy rider. By the way, during the film in this video, we were going on this sled together with a cameraman. We both weigh about 100 kilos, but it wasn't any problem for the sled. We even were able to climb on the hills, but unfortunately we didn't catch it on the camera. Getting back to the sled, I again can feel the perfect weight distribution. It balances so well, and it's a real pleasure to handle the sled. Besides, the little weight and fine settings of the transmission also do a lot of good for general performance of this snowmobile. But we still didn't take notice of the suspension, and I can't say it's very comfortable. It feels hot when riding without a passenger, but in general it does its work. As we can remember, it's on a utility sled, and the suspension in general is proper for this kind of machine. Its kinematic can be well seen when we were going through the forest on rough terrain. We can see it really has a good travel. Before we make some conclusions, I should speak about the obvious drawbacks. First of all, it's a weak engine. It may be enough for a dull utility vehicle, but for such a bright machine, I'd like to see more. Then I think this dashboard is not suitable here at all, it's just ridiculous. Then I would like to see here a simpler access to the engine. The holes in the plastic are too small. As to the reliability, well, it's a matter of time. For now, I can't say anything about it. For all that, it's cheap, bright and nice looking snowmobile, but with a weak engine. The price of the snowmobile is about $5000. I put the link to the official site in the description. By the way, the price of the motor sled is about $1500. Well, let's call today my friends. Thanks for having a ride with us. Please post your comments what you think of this sled. Consider subscribing the channel if you liked this video. Stay with us, there will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.